And we're live. MIDI and Linux the hard way. Right here we're gonna boost our CPU to its max even before we tax it. Tax it. Right here we're gonna start Jack D. Which is the underlying layer for most audio things of recording quality. Right here, we're going to launch Fluid Synth, which is a soft synth. So you don't have to have an actual MIDI device to play MIDI. Right here, we're going to launch VKBD, which is a virtual keyboard. And then our Fluid Synth. We have sound fonts. We have instruments in that font. And for channel zero, font one. We're gonna choose one of these things. Fingered bass, how about that? 33. There. Okay, and now that we have those, we need to connect them. We need to connect our virtual keyboard. 129 to 128, which is the soft synth, fluid synth. Connected. And sound. And adjust the keys so we get more keys on and off. And that's one way to do it. Um, there are other synthesizer things. Let's disconnect fluid synth. There's Hexter. It's audible. Select the patch and connect our virtual keyboard to it. Also, Rose Garden for recording. Bear in mind, this is a very old machine. Half a gigabyte of RAM, 2.8 gigahertz CPU, single core, 32 bit. Before I installed Rose Garden, I was only 3.88 gigabytes on the disk, and now I'm almost at 5.8. And someday it'll launch. And here we go. Alright, first thing to do when you're in Rose Garden is to go to Studio and Manage MIDI Devices. From here, we need to select our output, which will be Fluid Synth. 
and then select our input, which will be our virtual keyboard. That's that. Get that a little bit out of the way. And you can start recording. Stop and go back to the start. And you can change the sound font for it. Let's use tubular bells. Obviously, taxing my system a little too much. A little too low priority, but I'm recording at the same time, so it's using a lot of the available resources. And that's basically how you record MIDI in Rose Garden. And there's hydrogen. Which is a drum looper. Drum machine type thing. Which will someday start. Old machine, old tech. Alright. And of course, we need to connect it. use that. That's how you get started on that. Now there's other virtual keyboards. You don't have to use just that one. There's this one. Okay. Select program for food scent here instead of having to change it here. Drum set.
another offense like that. All right, I do you think fluid scent and Jack D from the command line is too much. There are GUI options, QJack CTL, the GUI version of Jack. And you can start that with the GUI, and it's running. And there's QSynth, which is the GUI version of FluidSynth. When you first start it, you need to tell it a sound font. So apparently that's not there by default, so you got to tell it to use one. Instead of using a connect to connect things, you can connect things here. Oh, we need a keyboard. This keyboard. Connect the keyboard to the scent. All done in a GUI. <laughs> Bar. So for these virtual keyboards, you can use an actual mini keyboard, or both. And that's pretty much it, as far as MIDI and Linux goes. Stop. Quit. Another option is Timidity, which is another soft synth. And you can tell it to input and output to also directly. Our keyboard. without using any jack. That's also only which is your basic sound driver. And that's pretty much it. Restore my CPU back to its default settings. And stop recording. Have a good one.